So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. And uh, in today's video, um, I'd like uh, to give you a short, uh, yeah, sneak peek into other videos that I made uh, during the month of May 2023. So this is going to be a little bit of a compilation video. And if you're interested in watching the individual videos, the long versions, then please uh, have a look in the description below. And here a few weeks ago, these are red blood cells and they're quite uh, badly deformed. And why is that? Well, because I added some salt water to my blood and this caused the red blood cells to lose quite a bit of water and to uh, cause them to shrink and shrivel up. And uh, the same or similar effect can also be seen under uh, with red onions. So uh, when you add uh, salt water to red onion cells, then you can also see the cells contents shrink um, and uh, the cells lose water, but the cell wall on the outside uh, basically stays the same, but it's only the contents that starts to shrink here because uh, plant cells obviously have a relatively rigid structure um, and the cell contents, however, is uh, quite, uh, yeah, quite flex because of the cell membrane is quite flexible and therefore in the cell membrane um, it will detach from the cell wall and the contents of the cell will shrink. Yeah, these are basic uh, experiments uh, that are can be done quite easily at home. I, I personally like uh, to always observe those processes of life. Um, yeah, under the microscope. I also went into the forest. I found a uh, puddle there, uh, some standing water, and it was full with water crustaceans. Uh, so I took a sample home and, uh, of course, also put it under the microscope. And uh, I found several species of water crustaceans, water fleas. And, and uh, they, they basically yeah, were reproducing happily because I could see also quite a few uh, of the larvae. These, that's a larval stage. Um, they have a different shape, but at the same time, they're, of course, also significantly smaller. Um, so there were several generations of these uh, water crustaceans present um, in the water sample. Yeah, asparagus this is, um, and I wanted to demonstrate uh, to you how you can prepare the stem of an asparagus uh, to observe under the microscope. So I used a very sharp razor blade here, and in order not to cut myself, I also 3D printed uh, yeah, a holder for uh, the, the razor blade. Everything went, of course, on the microscope slide, and under the microscope, um, I was quite happy to see that the individual cells were quite uh, clearly and cleanly visible, which actually shows that the cut that I made was quite thin. And uh, asparagus um, are basically so-called monocot plants. Uh, and you can see that uh, by looking at the structure of the so-called vascular bundles um, under the microscope. The vascular bundles are those cells that transport water and nutrients up and down the plant. Uh, so that's a vascular bundle here. And uh, they are arranged quite differently in monocot plants from the so-called dicot plants. And uh, I will always explain this, of course, in, in the video. A very favorite uh, organism of mine. <laughs> Many of my YouTube viewers also like to, to observe this. Uh, and this is so-called a face mite, a Demodex face mite. And I extracted them uh, from my eyelashes. Uh, here, um, another, um, another, uh, using a different contrasting technique here. And those Demodex face mites, uh, they live um, in the hair follicles of the eyelashes and of the eyebrows. And I extracted them. I was lucky enough uh, to find a few of them. And uh, yeah, I really zoomed in quite a bit uh, and uh, you could al actually also look into uh, the face mite itself and um, into the organs and a little bit of time lapse also shows uh, that uh, the eight legs of the face mites are are moving around uh, but in this case the face mite was compressed between the cover glass and the microscope slide so it was inhibited in its movement yeah but uh, I made a live stream on those face mites and as well I was quite happy to be successful here I also made a whole range of uh, YouTube shorts, um, uh, short form videos, and one of them um, essentially was about so-called the sea monkeys, as they're called commercially. These are so-called brine shrimp, and they are essentially a, a marine uh, saltwater shrimp. And you can hatch them out of those eggs, these round structures, these were the eggs. Um, and another YouTube short um, was um, about so-called ostracods. It's an ostracod here, um, which I also found in the forest. And uh, I also did a little bit of experimentation with some paramecia where I also added some salt water. You can see that uh, here as well, they start to shrivel and shrink um, because they're losing too much water. Um, yeah, here they're still moving around happily, uh, but uh, over the next couple of minutes, they started to lose water. An amoeba I found as well in one of my jars. I also made a YouTube short on this. And here, this amoeba is also not quite lucky because it was compressed by the microscope slide and the cover glass. It was kind of losing all of the organs, spilling the organs. And last but not 
not least, uh, a very favorite little organism here. That is a water bear, which was completely dried up um, and then I added some water. And after a couple of minutes, it came back uh, to life again because water bears um, are, after all, uh, quite resilient and are able to withstand uh, dryness uh, quite well. Yeah, so you can see that uh, during the month of May 2023, I uh, published a few videos, um, live streams as well, sh uh, YouTube shorts. And again, if you're interested in watching them, then I put the links into the description below. Uh, but uh, for now, I think uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. I uh, wish you all the best and happy micro hunting as always. And see you around next time. Bye-bye.